We're at Onyx HQ and today I'm serving coffee. This one looks cool. Let's go. Mm, give him the black. Shorts. Where are we at? Yeah, you gotta adjust them. And what are we doing? We're in Bentonville, Arkansas. We're gonna hang out at Onyx, but before that, don't come to Bentonville if you ride mountain bikes and not ride mountain bikes. We're gonna ride mountain bikes. I guess the Waltons are real big into mountain biking and yeah. they put a, poured a bunch of money into the trails. The Waltons are the family that founded Walmart. So. It's so facto. So there's a really cool hub that direction. We're gonna go straight to it, yep. and then from that hub, there's some sh there's some short downhill runs, like half mile downhill runs. They're nice and fun and poppy, and a little half mile climb back up. So we can do as many of those as we have time for, and then bust back to here and go get some food. Go through and head that way. If you guys are already. Let's do it. single speed record until last year. Dang. Somebody beat me. I have it for seven years. That's awesome. That's, that's my flex. That's my one claim to fame. I don't know if Chris told you, but the game plan is to do lead bill this yeah, year. I want to do sub good. sub nine is the game plan. Nice. I want to want that bigger belt buckle. Good trail. Well, compared to Cookville, out of 10, it's about a 150. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Chris is all right. I think he took some spills, but I'm not, there was a lot of noise back there, but he did great. <laughs> I lapped him, that's why I'm last. Good. It's incredible. Considering you're taking that. Pretty really good. That feels it's really good. It's for the room later. Yeah. Putting Bennett's email. You have a workout? Uh, yes. Some rowing and lots of pulling. Who was the last time you did a kettlebell song? 2010, something team. On the rower for everyone. For fitness, we are doing 80 calories for the guys, 60 for the ladies. And then for performance, it's, it is 100 calories for the guys, 80 for the ladies. Do you performance athlete or fitness? Performance. If you look at those workouts, are you performance athlete or fitness? All right, guys. So um, notice our on the rope. Don't pull with your hands. Good job. Move in and out. There you go. Let it go. Good, good, good. 
One, two, three. Burgers. Put that on his only five. Yeah. All right. Like a like a, a natural, you coming in, and then this guy's gonna be in there to meet you guys, and then you guys will immediately start on the tour in five seconds. Five, four, three, two. Our cafe. Cafe. Uh, yeah, so we uh, we also have our bakery over here. We have two sides of it, which I'll show you at the very end. Cool. Uh, we have a baker on this side that does more of uh, like baking the breads, the muffins, and stuff like that. And then on this side, they put like the final touches uh, for all of our shops and other local uh, shops that we supply to. Cool. So it's pretty cool. Uh, this part up here is this is where our quality control happens. Uh, so all of our, everything that gets roasted gets cupped. Um, so we, we have it kind of set up here up top on the middle because we want quality above everything. Nice. So it's just kind of a representation of that. How's it going? All right, so this is where the magic happens. Uh, every day uh, we create sheets called grids. So it's literally from the, the sales from the day before. Um, so we don't, uh, send out coffee that's more than a day old. So we're constantly roasting coffee. Right now, we're averaging out to 20 to 30,000 pounds of coffee a week. Um, but we have a system right here that's pretty cool. Um, whenever we hand the roasters that grid and uh, all the coffees, they go ahead and weigh out all the green coffee. Um, if you can kind of see on this side. On this side, all the green yeah. coffee, yep. So they weigh it out, they dump it into that hopper. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like a three-stage hopper. So we have one dumped stage right there, one up top ready to go. So while one is roasting, we have two on deck. On so it's just constantly going. So after right. it gets roasted, it gets dumped in this cooling bin and then sucked up through this uh, tube right here, which is basically a bean separator, which I'll show you guys whenever we go downstairs. We definitely, uh, so production actually used to be up here. Uh, we uh, outgrew it and we moved downstairs. And we had to figure out how to Get bring the coffee quick. downstairs. Yeah, okay. So we actually have this slide right here. Uh, definitely don't recommend going down it. it <laughs> Fast. Yeah, it definitely hurts. A lot of people like go down on their feet. Yeah. It's pretty crazy, but we'll go on down here. Uh, but first and foremost, I would like to show you the sabda yeah. where we separate all of the coffee. He Good, is our, our green yeah, sorcerer good. and head uh, roast there. Oh, nice. Um, but he can probably tell you about the Sabda some more. These are our optical sorters. So this is a post-roast optical sort. So coffee kind of naturally has a little bit of a gradient as far as color goes. Yep. So essentially what you want is any of these off colors. You can see that one. Yeah. Oop, it's on. right in there. Yep. Obviously different color. Yep. This is going to extract and taste differently, so you want to remove those before we send them out to customers. So, so you go through each of those and... Uh, no, it has oh, a bunch okay. of cameras in here, and it has a pneumatic gun, and it, like, in it, anytime it senses that there's a copy that... Is it is it, uh, Yeah, it doesn't align with our quality, it pops it out and separates it away. Yeah. This is also where... Uh, our, the roasters keep a lot of their green coffee. That's cool. Yeah. So these bad boys weigh anywhere between 130 to 150 pounds. So instead of having to carry them upstairs, we actually have a vacuum system set up right down the hall where they will take a dolly, uh, use like a little hook, and then cut it, and it just gets sucked upstairs. So it's literally just a big cycle. Yeah. It's pretty fun. So this right here is actually just a week's worth of coffee. Jeez. Yeah, we have another warehouse uh, where we have a lot of our, our back stock. So almost every day they're bringing over these bags. It's crazy. Yeah. All right, we're gonna come and check out the training lab now. So in here is the, the one and only Alika Lifty. How's it going, man? Rich. Hey, how's it going, Rich? Good to meet you. you too. This is, uh, this is his zone right here. So, Teaching, teach lab? Little yeah. So Alika is actually one of the nation's champion for brewing. Uh, he's actually competing next week at SEA to go back to Worlds. So that's pretty cool. But he's also our head trainer. 
Um, so not only does he train all of our employees, but also a lot of our wholesale clients will fly their entire team out here to get trained by Alika. What happens at a competition? What do you... Yeah, um, so there's different uh, categories, I guess you could say. Um, kind of like the top of the top is the uh, baristas. Um, there's like three parts to it. I'm not exactly sure what all it is, but there's like a signature beverage, just espresso, and then a different. Um, but also, a lot, big part of it is like service, so like how you present it and interact with your judges and things like that. And uh, a lot of times, the brewers, uh, like Alika, kind of created his own signature brewer for this, so it's like not on the market. It's like kind of his thing right now. Yeah. Um, and then that's kind of yeah. There's new stuff that comes out every year with that because people create new ways to make right. stuff and things like that. Yeah, so that's pretty sweet. That's cool. Rich, there's only one competition that matters. <laughs> it's Third place. The cup taster. <laughs> you can summarize that in a few words. Oh. Number one, you. And then you go, that's the one. That's it. And that's done. That's a big three right there. No, no. I got third. <laughs> a little fast. I'm sorry. Nice uh, under yeah. butt. Uh, under butt. Oh, not so much a heart. Yeah. I don't like new balances, so we're gonna take a point off. All right, we're here at HQ, hanging out with the Onyx team. We got some really cool things to show you coming up, but oh, oh, I got you. No, no, I can do it. No, no, I got one. Actually, hold up, hold up. Yeah, I got both. Wow, thanks, man. I do it like right by. Ready when y'all are. And go. Hey, thanks for doing this, man. Yeah, man, no problem. So what are you doing here? We're actually here to announce a partnership hey. with... Hey, have you yeah. seen my dolly? Have you seen my dolly? No, but you need help? Yeah. I can do it. Yeah, this way. Gotcha! <laughs> oh, I got this. Perfect. Let's do it again. Opposite of the sprint, you know? Like you don't want the sweat. Sorry. You're all right. I'm gonna keep messing up. It's almost like what I do for a living, so we're good. <laughs> and then I'll turn her way. Let me take the That had to look kind of funny. I was expecting him to like pour out. Let me help, let me help, let me help. in a like a super controlled setting like this lab we have here or you could do this in the middle of nowhere Ethiopia right so it's just standardized so you can really evaluate what the coffee has to offer <laughs> It sounds like an air compressor hose. They practice, you know? Yeah. When you're tasting these, um, always look for first, like, sweetness. Yep. How sweet is this coffee? And then acidity. Yep. How punchy and acidic is it? And then, like, you know, texture. Does it taste like juice, milk, tea, super thin, like, almost yep. watery? Yeah. Um, so those are the three factors that I like to judge at first. This one. Yeah, how does he make it so loud? That's impressive. It is impressive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna practice that. Weak slurp. We added these three. You're saying in the middle. What I want to do is go and get you 
also an espresso shot of that brought up so you can taste it on that brew method to ensure that that's like the house coffee you want to that was espresso and this is either what say cortado that is good they say time and then what you're looking for is to be the most accurate. Two of these coffees are the same, one of these coffees is different. So I have a table like this and I have to try each one and be the most accurate. Um, and then even if I get all of them, we're being judged on how quickly you went through it. So like Seth still lovingly said, I did it third best. Um, I, my time was like 2.08. And the guy who did it the fastest was um, 136. So I have to get under a minute for nationals. So. Nobody remembers third place. You're gonna have to do it fast. Give me this. Got it? Better. Yeah. Better than I could ever All I've done is make messes today. That's all I've done. Hey, I'll never. <laughs> <laughs> not hear that ring in my ear. If you come no, in first remember. place now, you know. It's taco time. Are these trails different than the other ones? I don't know, Scott. I haven't been on them yet. But according to Brian, these are all machine built based trails. What does that mean? They drive a thing over them? Yeah, I guess. Climb back up to the top again, but uh, it's worth it for a couple of runs. It's pretty fun. How did you guys take that thing? That was twice. You no, know, how many of you guys? Oh, I don't know. What do you guys want to do? Go one more run or, or keep rolling? Keep rolling, we can come back. Okay. We can hit it a couple yeah. more times at the end if you want. Cool, let's do it. Mix of fitness and fun. Climb the hill, go back down. Climb the hill, go back down. Seven. There was, we did seven in a row. It was up and seven. Seven in a row. Like barely scratch the surface. So like you'd be out here all week and still just see part of it, you know? We've ridden uh, 15 miles and there's like 300 in this corner of the state. Cross country, full fitness, 24 mile loop. Just. <laughs> I says no. All right. Back 40 is my jam. Where's that at? The climb was nasty, so you got some fitness. And then it was surprisingly fitnessy going down the hill. Yeah. Even though you don't, you're not pedaling that much. I finally figured out to like switch my gears into a heavier gear so I could pedal a little bit. And then I started getting a little too cocky and like getting some air and clearing some of those doubles and thinking, I'm going to die. And then at one time I almost went off the berm and then like the last couple times I didn't touch any of those metal grates. Like I would hit the drop, drop and like miss it completely. No. Yeah. No. I don't want coffee. Right. But we have southern 
Uh, right now we do Southern, we do Geometry. I've never known anyone that wanted to do seven runs down Thunderdome in a row. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was, that was crazy. Not hard, but he kind of like jabbed me in the ribs or something. So as he goes to the bathroom, as he comes out of the bathroom, I yell, not yell, across the coffee shop, I'm like, you know I could take you, right? <laughs> and then this is the video that ensues after that. Security camera footage? Yeah. And you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm going this way, on my way, until he insults me. <laughs> you just disappeared, you crumbled. He's like, he's like yeah, trying yeah. to reach. You're, you're not even there anymore. I'm trying to grab him, but like he's just so powerful, and I'm like trying to grab him, and I, you know, and I can't, and I'm letting him know that if he lets me go, I'll take him down, but. And he's pointing at the yeah, camera, and he's like, like, hey, Hey, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna turn yeah. that in. Yeah. So I was like, hey, 10.06 on the, the coffee <laughs> shop camera. And Chris did the same <laughs> thing and said, hey, will you delete 10.06? <laughs> then he goes, is that what Rich texted me about? I said, yes, will you delete it? He goes, absolutely not. I said, ah. You ready? Yeah. So if that doesn't work, you're riding on what gear the whole time? That's right. <laughs> Trail is this? Blowing springs. <laughs> that was bad part too was there was like some toilet paper on the surface so it just plopped on top of it so it's <laughs> next person that walks in there is in for a rude awakening. I was gonna say ride out 40 minutes, 35 minutes and ride back, you know? Like an hour plus and that yeah. of riding. Phone on me today. So we got a little bit better. Just take this up, get that blue. Let's just see what happens. Sounds good. Alright. Start of the back 40 yep. and then saw the like the trail map and I was like okay I know this is where we're going so I started on the back 40 and ended up on something called boom diggity yeah. which like spat me out at this camp uh, like RV camp kind of thing had a nice bathroom so ride. <laughs> okay. and flow rides where I made the executive decision I was like ah, I think I can get back to where it starts I was looking at Strava map I was like I think I can get back to them then I was like no, that's not, I'm not even close, so. And we're supposed to have breakfast in, what, 30 minutes, and everything's 37 minutes from here? So. <laughs> it's like a skull cap. <laughs> that's good. A little ducktail. Oh, all right. Let's go. Do you want to have the sign off? Oh, sign off. How do you, yeah, how do you s s signing off? No. No? How do you do it? Back to him. Like. Like. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hit the little dingy thing. Hit the little dingy thing. Buy Buffalo Brew Coffee. Buy Buffalo Brew Coffee. In partnership with Onyx. In partnership with Onyx. In life, people trip. Most people fall. But some people turn that trip into a beautiful, beautiful dance. Dang it. I was in the lead too the whole time and then my tire busted. Then they caught up. You don't need to hear more.
show you a good time. Yeah, all right, well, that was fun. Done a slow dance in the diesel. <laughs> <sighs>